Hello, hello, yet again. I'm shooting at Paradise Beach in Jamaica and a thought comes across my mind to discuss with you today. And that topic is love. <laughs> love, love, something we all crave for. And yet when most of us get it, it becomes the hardest chapters of our lives most of the time, right? That's why divorce rates are so high. It's because society has conditioned us to believe what love is and less less and less of us are daring enough to discover to really go and look for what the true meaning of love is and on my journey i've come to understand love happy love <laughs> is unconditional love love from source energy and love is really all that there is and if you listen to the smart people in this world the einsteins and Newtons of this world, they'll all tell you love is all there is because when you think of the world as energy then you understand that all we are is frequency and vibration and if all we are is frequency and vibration then guess what our soul is? Energy and so we are energy before we physically manifest into these bodies these beautiful bodies that we have that most of the time we don't even appreciate and so let's talk about real love the kind of love that's really important the kind of love that allows us to show up for ourselves because when we show up for ourselves then we can show up for other people and as women I'll tell you one thing that I've learned after dating <laughs> for a long time from a young age is that nobody can give you what you're looking for until you give it to yourself come home to yourself and I've done a lot of energy healing courses quantum healing hypnosis neuro-linguistic programming EFT you name it and everything especially everything that's gonna mean something in your life will teach you one message come home to yourself and when you finally come home to yourself and you realize that all you are is energy then you find love and you find love everywhere that you search. You find it in these beautiful sunsets. You find it in these beautiful birds in nature, in this magical ocean, in the sand, in the trees, in the stars. And then you start to realize that there's more to the universe that meets the eye. There's more to the universe when you feel within your heart. And so, one of the biggest lessons that I've learned is we've got the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine within ourselves. And each of us hold generational trauma, mother wounds, father wounds within ourselves that we need to transmute. And so if you understand that the highest vibration is love, unconditional love, then the lowest vibration is fear. And fear is also false evidence appearing real. And so then you understand that if Earth is a school and we're all raising our vibrations from 3D to 5D, which is the new Earth, then we're transmuting our fears into love, letting go of anxiety, letting go of resistance. I mean, look at the fish in the sea. Look at the birds in the sky. They're not struggling. Look at the bees that build their hives. You see the hexagon. Everything in nature travels according to a path of least resistance. Everything in nature travels according to the path of least resistance. I want you to process this. And then ask yourself, are you integrating this into your life? And it's always been a game of blame, shame, regret, hopelessness, anger. And we're always working in survival mode, majority of us that is, except the light workers, the star seeds my beautiful soul family that's evolving and integrating more and more every day and you are one of them and we're on this journey together we're walking each other home we're expanding each other's consciousness and we're bringing each other into a space of more love so that we can experience more love and be more love and integrate and that's what plant medicines and everything are about is as a as a snake sheds her skin so must you shed your story. As a snake sheds her skin, so must you shed your story. At least that's what Ayahuasca taught me. Mother Earth, that's what she taught me. And there's so much for us to discuss. 
but this is just enough for you to think about before my next episode and if you're happy with what you're watching if you have suggestions if you have questions please feel free to get in touch with me and i promise you i will get back to you because like i said we're in this together you and me